Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Cap Filmmaker. In today's episode, we'll be taking a look at 11 Nosebleed Defect. Let's dive in. This effect is a combination of visual effects and practical effects. For the practical effects, you're going to need some fake blood. You can find this at your local party shop or Halloween store. What you want to do with the fake blood is place it on your hand and rub it across your face as if you're rubbing blood from your nose off your face. Anyway, once you've gotten your footage, let's dive in. So we're going to import our footage into After Effects and create a new composition with that footage. Next, go over to the tracker panel and select Track Motion. Be sure to tick the boxes for position, rotation, and scale. Next, move the track points to the nostrils of your subject. Then just let After Effects do its thing. Next, create a new null object and apply the tracking data to the null. Next, create a new solid and color it dark red. This will be our blood. Next, draw a mask in the shape that you want your nosebleed. Now you can animate the nosebleed to come down through the nose. Don't worry about it going in front of the nose, we will cover that up later. You can use a combination of the position keyframes and the mask path keyframes as you want to make it look like it's moving down through the texture of your face. Next, use the pick whip tool to parent the solid to the null. This will make the blood follow your face move for move. Now we're going to place the nose back in front of the blood. Simply duplicate your main footage layer and double click to open the rotoscope menu. Next, use the green circle to draw around the nose. Be sure not to include the nostrils. Next, press the spacebar to begin tracking. Once it's done, press freeze to lock in the rotoscope. Then just let After Effects do its thing. Once it's done, your nose blade should now be behind the nose. Next, right click and pre-compose the blood layer. Be sure to select leave all attributes. Then, add some fractal noise to add some more texture to the blood. Next, find the point where your hand covers the blood and animate the mask to move with the hand. Then I just did a bit of color grading, and then your effect should be completed. Let's have a look. It would appear it's an unfortunate side effect of using your powers. Unfortunately, we do not have a way to remedy it yet. Deal with it for now. If you enjoyed that bit at the end, that's actually an excerpt from one of our upcoming Stranger Things short films. So subscribe to see that. And while you're there, check out this video. Looks pretty good. Thanks for watching. <laughs>